So I have a question from a student named Srikant Mehato. He is uh, from Purulia and he is uh, preparing for JEE mains. And he says that, sir, I have also a question since class 7 or 8. That means maybe at least 3 years or 4 years. When I read the chapter light for the first time, my question is that why does the path of light get bent when it passes through a different medium? And then there are some other things. And then he says that I always take an example like if a body moving in a straight line and it faces a medium that is denser than the present medium, then it will slow down its speed. Rather, it changes the path. And my confusion till now is fresh. You are requested to answer this question. Right. So, I take from the last sentence that he has uh, written that if a body is moving in straight line and it faces a medium that is denser than the present medium, then it will slow down. Light also when goes from optically rarer to optically denser medium, it slows down, the speed decreases. But then he says that, okay, fine, the speed decreases, but why should it be bent? So that's the question. For From oblique incidences, remember, if it is a normal incidence, it doesn't bend. So let's, let's see. So the problem is that uh, generally we think light as a ray, a very, very thin ray, a combination of rays. Now, that is an approximation and sometimes it works well. But uh, in reality, light cannot be treated as one single ray combination of such rays. And each ray individually we treat and say that, okay, fine, that's the answer. We cannot do that because light has a wave property and other things. So, instead of a small object going, it has to be an extended object. The width wise, if it is going in some x direction, then y and z direction also uh, there is an, uh, it, the light is there, okay, the part is there. You cannot individually make a straight line and say that, okay, light is going on this path and has, doesn't, has no effect uh, in the, on the sides. Okay, so if you consider light as an extended object, then there is a very good analogy by which you can understand why should it bend when the speed goes down. So let us look at this diagram. Look at this car. It doesn't look like a car, but let's suppose it is a car and these are the front wheels and then the rear wheels and the body. And the car is coming from uh, in, a, in a line in a, in, a, in a particular direction like this. And here are two different media. This is one kind of road. This is bumpy road and therefore the speed here is the speed of car here will be lower and the speed of car here will be larger. So if there is an oblique incidence that means that uh, line separating this side and this side is at some angle then this this tire or this uh, wheel will reach it earlier and this will reach this medium later. So as soon as this uh, wheel reaches here, it slows down. But it is still going with that uh, higher speed. So what will happen? So if this goes a smaller distance, this wheel goes a smaller distance and this wheel goes a larger distance and then if you connect, then if you connect, if, if this is large and this is slow uh, and then you connect these two, it will be like this. So originally the line joining the wheel was like this and now it has become this. So that means the whole car is now bending. So that is how light also behaves. Light is not a single ray, it is an extended object. You cannot treat one line as light and uh, therefore part of that you know, light will reach, that one unit will reach earlier. Uh, which will slow down immediately and the other part, other parts will reach later and then they will uh, travel more distance and hence the path will be bent.